Navalasya Param Navahasya Karam Navahema Varam Pranamami Shachi Sutta Gauravaram Well, when you, uh, when you ask me uh, what is memorable, the, the village lifestyle that uh, I was born and was brought up with, I mean, I, <laughs> that transports me uh, well back into the history some 50, 60 years ago um, in Maharashtra, in a remote corner. Uh, and I, I think my village is just one of the 500,000 villages in, in India. Uh, well, I, I would say nothing, nothing so special, but again, it is my village, so it's so special for me. And everyone, uh, and, 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 and I'm, I'm confident that not just me who has gone through such experience has formed memories of the growing in small uh, village, but all those who are, have gone through that experience, hundreds and thousands and millions of folks have good memories, or memory, uh, memories of good old days. And uh, although it is uh, old days, it is still like a new day, it's, it's a fresh, because you, your heart, your mind, wanders off and goes, uh, will, you know, visits, revisits those, those times. But I, I remember, you know, uh, as a child, I, uh, growing up in the village, uh, or early morning, as soon as I woke up, the first thing I would hear, my mother uh, grinding uh, the grains, and with a the stone and a hand manual uh, grinding meal, either by herself or sometimes another person assisting her uh, uh, while singing some songs. That would wake me up. That was like a wake up call. <laughs> and uh, you know, my mother is grinding, singing, perspiring, a lot of labor involved, a lot of exercise, natural exercise was uh, there involved for her. Well, next thing she would uh, uh, begin cooking, just using firewood. There's a big uh, clay pot where the water is stored water coming from the village well or some other a reservoir. Uh, the uh, you know, elder members, my, my father or your, my elder brothers, they would go to the well, fetch the water and carry water, pour that into the water uh, uh, tank made of uh, clay. That water is used for cooking. The grains have come from the farm where the, my, my parents have uh, you know, tilled the land using their uh, own uh, ox power, using the, uh, the manure or the, the cow dung fertilizer, which is just available there. The cow dung, cow urine, or buffalo dung, buffalo <laughs> urine also. So everything natural, everything right there. So anyway, after... Uh, the grinding is over, next thing is cooking. Uh, uh, the, you know. Then my, my uh, father and elder brother, they would go to the farm. And then after the cooking is over, some kind of offering it to God, uh, uh, that food concept was also there not that strictly followed 
but uh, the thought was there, this food is given by God. Then uh, they would send me, uh, you know, carrying uh, the load of food. <laughs> Maybe I'm carrying a buttermilk in other hand. Uh, sun is rising in the east. Uh, I'm going through the field, the green crop uh, to my right, to my left. There are trees. Uh, the birds are chirping. Coo, coo, coo. I, I could hear that. And uh, as I'm approaching uh, my, well, my parents' field, I begin hearing the sounds again. My mother was singing some folk song, there's some God conscious song, <laughs> glorifying God while grinding the grains. And there is my father and brother. They're singing in the fields while tilling the land. And I'm, I'm hearing that. And then I also know which way to go. I, I, I'm drawn to the, the sound of the singing. And then there's a pair of bull that my my father and elder brother is uh, working with. And I'm noticing there's another farmer in a few hundred yards away doing the same thing, and another one, and another one, and everywhere. And the whole air is filled with uh, songs. Uh, and the, 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 the bulls tilling the land, they're also absorbed, like they're being entertained. <laughs> while they're pulling the plow or some other uh, instrument uh, uh, cultivating the land. And sometimes they're so much addicted, uh, or yeah, well, I was, that uh, the farmers stop singing, they also stop <laughs> plowing or they are reluctant to move. So the song begins and then they move again. And, uh, and then they would sit down, you know, time for breakfast. They would, uh, there were no watches. They didn't not look at the watch to, uh, but they look at the shade of the trees. Oh, now they would say, oh, the shade has, is uh, that far, that long shade or that shorter distance shade only. So this must be nine o'clock or this is 10 o'clock, this is eight a.m. or this is, they would measure the, even the timing. Oh, time for breakfast. So they would sit under the, the tree, the cool shade, cool breeze, and are enjoying the breakfast of the bread and freshly churned butter. And uh, well, uh, there are also the carrots are growing. Sometimes we would go just go into the field and uh, you know, take, pick up some uh, vegetables and break just with the hands into pieces, by p into pieces. And there's a salad there is. Or sometimes we are sitting under the mango tree. <laughs> sometimes we'll just climb up the mango tree and uh, you know, pick up some mangoes and uh, there's a pickle, natural pickle. Or if they're ripe, then there's a fruit for us. Uh, and then, uh, at the end of the meal, they are drinking buttermilk, which is a, a digestive. Takram pibet bhojananti bhojananti tak pibet tak bhojananti pibet takram. You should be drinking uh, buttermilk at the end of the meal, as uh, the Vedic uh, wisdom says. So they would they would follow all that. So uh, anyway, that kind of uh, you know simple, down-to-earth, clean you know lifestyle, depending on nature, uh, and of course during the day, you know it was also it used to be my turn. The children they would uh, help taking care of the cattle, so I would be going also to the nearby pasturing grounds, out nearby mountain, mountainous area with my friends. 
some buffaloes are there, cows, the goats. So they are grazing, we are playing, then we take lunch. And uh, it was fun. It was, uh, it was work, but uh, it were, we were also in playing, enjoying in the lap of the nature, taking care of uh, the animals, useful animals. Animals which, you know, they gave us milk or the cows gave us bulls. Bulls are used for tilling the land. Uh, no, we did not have to buy, uh, uh, no, <laughs> the tractor. I mean, those, the, the, yeah, the bulls and the, the wood was there, so the carpenters would make a cart. And I, uh, my mode of transportation uh, was a ox cart or, or walked. The nearest town was uh, uh, 10 kilometers and it was age 12. Uh, first time I was allowed to go or I, I, I went there and I had to walk 10 kilometers and walk back. <laughs> it was a good exercise. And it was for a festival. There was a Ganesh uh, Rathotsa, Ganesh Chariot Festival. So that was the first time ever I I went to uh, a town, and uh, it was uh, uh, age 19. First time I uh, I had a car ride in my life. <laughs> so pre prior to all that, I had walked or a little bicycling or. Uh, I had an ox cart uh, transport arrangement going from the village to the farm and the back or nearby neighboring uh, villages or, or my parents, you know, they would go for maybe selling some goods like a gore or a, a ground nuts, some, uh, some cash crop, they would load their cart, go into the town, sell it off, come back, or then, or sometimes yeah, they would give, sell gore and uh, bring some wheat, or sell ground nuts and, you know, get some rice. So, uh, so transportation was a very simple. Uh, we never heard of any accidents or uh, Certainly no uh, noise pollution or air pollution. On the contrary, the, the, the bulls, there's to be a bells around their necks and when they walked or especially ran, <laughs> then, uh, the, the tickling and jingling of the bells added, uh, you know, Things of that sort makes uh, you know, the, those days very special days. That place uh, very special to me. Uh, that uh, village, uh, simple, natural uh, country countryside. God made the country. God made the country. So uh, certainly, my village made by God and I was made by God also and the nature made by God and the grains made by God and uh, nice relationships also very healthy relationships every morning people getting up they would greet Ram 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 like that or they would say Sita Ram or so that was way of greeting each other while saying the names of God they would they would greet meet each other so I think those were the days and that was a place I, I cannot uh, I cannot forget, I keep remembering, and I wish uh, 
such places are preserved and uh, propagated that kind of natural, simple living of high thinking or uh, one whole village as a family, one whole village as a family. There's so much family spirit. Uh, love thy neighbor, certainly they would love the neighbors. Well, the even Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. And uh, there was that spirit of uh, loving neighbors and uh, be part of well, uh, well, happiness or distress, the neighbors would be part, uh, be, be there to share joy or, or uh, well, suffering if there is of any sort. And uh, it takes also, it says it takes a, a whole village for you to grow up, not just a, one home, one house, father, mother, and home. It takes a whole village for you to, for your overall or natural. Uh, so not only you need uh, your parents, you need friends, you need neighbors, you need others, you need elders, you need, uh, you need teachers, you need... Uh, so that was all uh, available and was all used for uh, you know, the nourishment, uh, physical or mental or spiritual. It was, uh, it was there. Fifty years later, there's a different uh, story. <sighs> that uh, God-made country has been spoiled by the man. Our God made the country, man has made the big mess. Well, now when I go to my village, of course my mother is no more, but the other ladies are there and they don't get up in the morning because they were late night watching television or something of that sort. So, sleeping late, hmm? Early to rise, early to uh, yeah, early to bed, early to rise. That principle was being followed when I was, you no, know, uh, yeah, it was 50 years ago, 60 years ago when I was uh, just a little boy. But now those times have changed. They go to bed very late. They get up very late. They don't have to do the grinding. The machines are there. Or uh, mothers don't even have to make uh, fresh bread. The modern times have come. The modern bread made in the factory, nicely packed and branded, is there. And uh, the eggs are also there. They are And then uh, the farmers, I, I'm wondering where are those bulls? Where are, the, where are the oxen? Teams, every farmer used to have a pair of bulls or a couple of pairs. 
Now their numbers have diminished. In fact, there's to be a festival one day. Farmers being very grateful towards those animals. They used to honor those animals. I remember me taking a pair of bulls to nearby lake and wash them, scrub their bodies, bring them home, horn, uh, paint their horns, tie the ribbon, and put a you know, cloth on the back there and uh, the, the new belt around their neck and then bring them in a procession in the in the village so I was there recently uh, during that occasion but that festival even did not happen that spirit is lost hardly any bulls very few bulls they are tied down or who knows where they are going, where they are being transported to and what happens to them ultimately. Maybe same their own bulls or animals and go on you know, a lorry transport and then they are brought back by another lorry transport, uh, nicely packed some meat packages and instead of honoring those God made very, very useful animals, farmers are ending up, gobbling up, eating those animals. This is heartbreaking experience. What has gone wrong just in 50 years? And this is not a story, as I said, different story but this is not a story of just my village I'm very much confident I have traveled all over India as a Padhyatri a walking festival that I I, 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 I do all the time uh, travel with my, my colleagues chanting the holy names of God go to the villages address them and remind them of the the values, the high thinking, or the culture, what is real economic development, what are our basic needs. I, I address those issues. So I, I, ha I have traveled to hundreds and thousands of villages, so I know. So what has gone wrong in my village also is happening right there, everywhere in all those 500,000 villages. So it's a very sorry state. Kind of that natural living, natural diet, fresh air, and uh, no pollution of any sort. There was hardly any <laughs> newspaper. There is one black and white few page newspaper <laughs> was brought by postman. Maybe few people read it. But that's not the case now. The television bombarding. Daily, not only daily news, minute by minute, blow by blow, all the, and nothing inspiring. The killing news, this news, that news, scandals, and, uh, well, 300 people committing suicide every day on you know, that kind of statistic also you also get to read or hear disgusting discouraging <clears throat> so, uh, so because the, the, the living was natural simple living some some high high thinking, and unless there's a high thinking or God conscious thinking, you also cannot live simple life. Simple living is possible possible for those who have high high thoughts, higher values that they care for. Then simple living with basic needs you could. Otherwise, what we see today is. 
the living is high living and simple thinking or no thinking, zero thinking, just do it. Just do it. Feel good? Go ahead, do it. This is the formula. This, is, this has become philosophy globally and unfortunately those values have reached, infiltrated and migrated, imported right into the villages and uh, there is no more simple living or there is maybe simply living not thinking and as a result uh, the health mental physical I mean 50 years ago there was just but uh, one doctor every Wednesday he would come to one place in a village there was a little sign every Wednesday afternoon 4 to 6 one doctor from another village riding on the bike he would come to check whether anyone needed uh, the medical help, anyone sick, and and some some Venice days, you know, he would find no customer. <laughs> he would go empty pocket. Uh, well, in the same village, some 10, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, maybe uh, something like that. Uh, well, small hospital was opened. Minister arrived, he cursed the ribbon, everyone clapped, thinking, we have also hospital, our village has hospital, we are no less than that town folks or city folks, we made the progress, we have. I mean, this is nonsense, this is, innocence is spoiled, finished values you create a disease and then you take a credit for curing it uh, what about those days when you you did not there was no need you did not get sick the prevention is better than cure in fact you did not have to do anything to prevent you don't even, uh, the, everything was there the preventive measures were in place you may or may not know but this, God made <coughs> preventive measures were there, you just had to be part of that scene and uh, you were healthy. But now comes little hospital. So, uh, so things like that. There, are the, uh, the, the divorce was unheard of. Now, the farmers are also running to the courts, wife, husband battling in the court. And the, the relationships are not healthy, infighting, the quarrels are... The juniors always respected elders, parents, no talking back. So, uh, but it's dying down very rapidly. Everyone, you know, I'm for myself. Forget the uh, whole village, forget the whole family. I care for myself. Individualism, individual, my own ism. It takes a lot of sacrificing, sacrifices. It takes sacrifices to stay united, stay together, or uh, even stay uh, together as a family. But different thoughts, different values. Coming from the west to the big cities, then to the towns and in roads into the villages. As a result, now people 
are not happy, peaceful in the villages. Unfortunately, they think, let's go to the city. Let's go to the city, let's make money. And in search of money, they go, leaving the naturals set up behind and they get into so many unhealthy deals and dealings and conditions and yeah including losing peace of mind so people in the village they think oh, well let me go to the town people of the town let me go to the big city then I'll be happy, people of big city are then I should go to London or New York, you know. Then I will be happy, but people of London and New York, I should go, we should go to the moon. So wherever they go, as soon as they land on the moon, they'll be, they'll be spoiling peace there also. Because of the, the values, the consciousness, the low thinking, which, uh, motivates them to do this or to do this wrong, that wrong. So, uh, so things are getting spoiled and things are becoming messy. So it's a miserable condition. Our farmers committing suicide. Hmm? Life is unlivable. <laughs> they happily lived 50 years ago when different principles governed their lives. But now, same farmers are, are giving up their lives in hundreds and thousands of farmers are committing suicides. So, uh, something seriously wrong that we need to take note of and rectify, revive, protect, preserve and propagate that. Clearing attraction of city, that is my the, the modern age, people are more attracted by the city life. But we should know the city life, not for the devotee, generally, people in general, the life, city life. But that is Maya. Maya means it is not bad. We are thinking that this way we shall be happy. But that is not bad. This is karma. Maya. It is not. You are thinking that in this way you will be happy, but it is not. This is not. <coughs> One English poet also said, Kaupa, that city is made by man, but village is made by God. <coughs> See, you can stick to this village life and be satisfied whatever you produce. You can produce your necessities. There is no difficulty. If we keep cows and grow uh, food grains, fruits, vegetables, then we can live very peacefully. There is no need of going to the city. 
that is the plan of god krishna krishna personally exhibited vrindavan is really exhibited in that city we are trying to go to the village of krishna 